was really the, the, the result of a couple of years of, of solid work. There's been a significant rechange of leadership. Most of the CEOs of the business units and more recently the heads of functions. We put in place a new capital plan that raised in a billion and a half of capital. Redid underwriting right across the group. And all of that resulted in more than a billion dollar turnaround in profit. Well, as well as increasing profits, we've also tried to reduce volatility in the business. We've obviously changed the leadership and got a new team of people in place. We put more reinsurance protection in place. We significantly strengthened our balance sheet. We've also sold off some of our business units, notably our Australian and US agency businesses. But at our heart, we're an underwriting business. Our people are very good at taking underwriting decisions. And to be honest, there is better people for running distribution businesses that they are that can grow them with a, with a different skill set than we've got. So the, the insurance markets around the world are reasonably competitive now. The new capacity that's come in over the last couple of years has made them more competitive, but not unreasonably so. Um, some markets like the US have still got small price increases, and markets like here in Australia have got small price decreases. On the back of increasing the profits in 2014 and forecasting, targeting to increase profits again in 2015, we're also looking to grow our dividend as we go forward. The capital we put in place with a stronger balance sheet, higher cash flows and increased profits, plus also increased earning stability, that should allow us to grow our dividend as we go forward. So what we're looking to do in 2015 and 2016 is, is more of the same, really. So first and foremost, hit our earnings targets, have some earnings stability, start to grow the top line again. We need to continue to focus, like every company in the world, on efficiency. It's a reasonably competitive environment to, to grow in. And all of that should allow us to grow our dividends as well as we go forward.